Well, Denmark has been welcoming Ukrainian refugees since the start of the Russian invasion. New arrivals could reach 100,000 in the coming weeks. The Danish government has just passed a law that will allow them to stay for up to two years. But at the same time, the government's also been working on plans to reduce the number of non-European asylum seekers, with human rights groups accusing Denmark of discrimination. BBC Arabic's Hanan Razek reports now from Copenhagen. Here in Denmark, it was from first step. They were so kind to us. How am I supposed to integrate in a society that rejects me? One hosting country, two different refugees, two different experiences. Recently, the Danish government has passed a special law to host the Ukrainian refugees, although it's well known for its zero asylum policy. This has led to a lot of criticism to the Danish government, and I've come here to find out if there is a really double standard when it comes to refugees. My first stop is a camp hosting Ukrainian refugees. Denmark has received around 40,000 Ukrainians since the start of the Russian invasion. Are you planning to learn Danish now that you... Yes, of course. Ala is a mother of four who's here with her family. We are very thankful for Danish people. Uh, they give us roof to live, food to eat, and all these clothes. We have a lot of donations, you know, and it's very, very nice. But as Ala prepares to make this country home, other refugees here have been feeling less welcome. Around 35,000 Syrian refugees have arrived in Denmark since 2015. These protests in Copenhagen last year were against laws, making it harder for them to stay here. The government announced plans to revoke the visas of over a thousand Syrians, claiming that it was now safe for them to go home. This group of Syrians have been here for over five years. How am I supposed to integrate in a society that rejects me? Its media rejects me. Everywhere I see it promoted that they don't want me here. Syrians are the most sympathetic to the Ukrainians. We endure the same attacks and weapons, but we object to the different treatment from the government. In Parliament, refugee status is a controversial issue. But the government says they cannot help everyone. We'll have to say that we are a very small country compared to most other countries in the world. But it seems that you're a small country for the Syrians, but you're not a small country for the Ukrainians. No, and that is why we think that we have a responsibility in Europe for helping refugees here, and we think that people in the Middle East have a responsibility for helping refugees there. There is no doubt about the warm welcome Ukrainians have received from everyone in Denmark, including Syrian refugees. That welcome has left Syrians and others wishing they could be treated the same. Anand Razik, BBC News, Copenhagen.